You really are such a useless daughter-in-law. What purpose does your presence serve in this household? I can't fathom why my son chose to marry someone like you. What did I do wrong this time? I'm currently occupied with work, so I have limited time for conversation. Quit using work as a justification. Your earnings are hardly substantial, if at all. You ought to show some gratitude for being allowed to reside here, despite your modest income. It would be helpful if you could contribute more by assisting with the household chores occasionally. I find it surprising that I am solely responsible for all the household tasks lately, considering our relationship as mother-in-law and daughter-in-law. I truly appreciate all the efforts you're putting in for our well-being. Still, I've helped you out whenever I've had the time. I contribute to the household chores diligently every day upon returning from work. I understand that on certain occasions, I have to work overtime and cannot assist with the household tasks due to my professional commitments. I'm putting in my utmost effort, so I would prefer if you didn't speak to me in such a manner. I really don't like how you talk back to me like this. Stop being so arrogant to know your place. I didn't mean to offend you if I did. I was just telling you the truth about my situation. I just feel so sorry for Daniel. He really did choose the wrong woman. There were so many more better options for a beautiful guy like him. That's a little offensive, isn't it? I don't think he thinks that way about me at all. We both decided that we're both going to work even after getting married and that we're both going to do the housework. There are times when I'm busier than him. I can't be doing the housework all the time. If you really need help with the housework, then you should be asking him as well. Why don't you ask him at all? You always pick on me even though you should know that I'm busy. You really don't understand at all, do you? Are you seriously trying to make your husband do all the housework for you? That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that he should help out from time to time. It's not fair right now because I do so much housework even though we both work full-time jobs. Your entire thought process is just wrong. You shouldn't be making your man have to do any of the housework. Try to change the way you think. We actually managed to share the housework pretty evenly before we moved in with you. You've been complaining so much that it's been difficult to balance things evenly between us. How about we try to get along and figure out how we can split up the workload evenly? Sorry, but I declined. Would you please think about it? I'm really doing my best to make sure that everyone's happy. I want to try to get along with you seeing as we live with each other. I don't like having to argue with you every single day. Could we please try to get along? I'm getting very stressed these days having to argue and correct your mistakes all the time. I don't think that I can stand being around you any longer. I had no idea that you felt that way about me. You had no idea? You really are kind of obtuse, aren't you? It annoys me that you barely do any of the housework even though you're a wife. I've been doing the housework every single day since I got married. I don't understand how you can't do the same. Who do you think you are? Well, times have changed now. It's no longer a given that the wife does all the housework. We're in very different situations as well. I'm working a full-time job. Please try to understand that there are some differences between us. Let's just try to get along. I just thought of a great way to solve all of this. A way to solve this? Great! What's the idea? Yeah, it's perfect. I'm not going to be stressed because of you anymore. That would be great for both of us. Would you let me know what your plan is? You'll find out soon enough. Look forward to it because it's such a great idea. Can you not tell me now? No, I need some time to prepare. Okay, I'll look forward to it then. A few days later. Hey, Katie, you have a business trip planned this weekend, right? Yeah, I do. I'm going to be gone for a couple of days. What's the matter? Oh, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. 
I just wanted to double check with you just in case. I have all the dates on my schedule written down on the calendar. Also, could you talk to your mom for me? About what? You know that we don't get along that well with each other. She told me that she thought of an idea to solve our problems. She still hasn't told me what the idea is, and now she's not replying to any of my texts. I'm a little worried because she's ignoring me completely. I see. Wait, what? Is that all you're going to say? Please, would you try to help me out? You know that we both work full-time jobs and that I don't have that much free time. She's trying to force me to do all the housework, but that's just not possible. I think it's unfair that I'm the only one she's forcing to help with the housework. You should do some housework too. How do you feel about this problem? Would you please stop trying to involve me in your problems? This has nothing to do with me. What did you just say? I'm your husband. I am a man and I really don't want to have to get involved in a fight between two women. You guys need to solve this yourselves. Please leave me out of this and not mention this to me ever again. I'm already stressed working my job. I don't need any extra problems to solve. How could you say that to me? I'm also working a full-time job. I'm stressed out too. It's your mom and your wife. You need to help us solve this problem. Yeah, I know that she's my mom. I told you I don't want to get involved in pointless arguments. My dad doesn't get involved in any of these arguments, right? I'm going to do the same thing as him and stay out of this. You can't just pretend that this isn't your problem as well. You are the one that convinced me to move in with your family. You have a responsibility to at least try to make her get along with me. I was the one that got us this house that we could all live in. This is the least you can do for me. You really need to calm down. Stop getting so worked up about such a small problem. You need to relax or you're going to get even uglier. I've had enough now. I can't believe you're not going to try to help me out. This isn't my problem. Why should I help you out? I hope you enjoy your business trip. I really don't mind you being gone for a long time. There's no need to be in a rush to come home. I'm going on a work trip. It's not a vacation. Still, it's some precious time that I'll have by myself. I'll make sure to use it to try to relax. Yeah, go ahead and do that. We're going to enjoy our time without you in the house, too. Okay, fine. I really don't like how you're treating me right now. I think we need to have a talk, too. Please make some time for us to have a serious conversation when I get back. There's some serious problems in our relationship, too. I am not happy at all. Final day of the business trip. There is no longer a place for you to live in this house. What did you just say? I was surprised to receive a message from you all of a sudden. I hope that you enjoy your life on the streets. You are officially homeless as of today. I have no idea what you're talking about. Would you please explain to me what's going on? There's nothing for me to explain. It's exactly as I just said. You'll understand what's happening once you come home. I guess it's not your home anymore, though. We sold the house so it's no longer our property. You're joking, right? I'm not joking at all. We sold the house while you were gone on your business trip. All of us moved into a new place without you. That's why I'm telling you that you have no place to live. I hope that you enjoy your life as a homeless woman on the streets. Are you serious about all of this? I don't think it was a very smart thing to do. What are you talking about? This fixes all the problems that we've been having. Today we're going on a family vacation and staying in a nice hotel. We're planning to move into our new place tomorrow. We've already hired a moving company to deliver all our belongings to our new place. So you guys have planned this all out then? You're not at your new place yet, right? No, not yet. 
It took us a little longer than we planned because we had to wait for you to go on a business trip. I told Daniel that we didn't have to keep this a secret. It kind of seemed like he was a little scared of you. I hope he can live stress-free now that you're not living with us. So he was involved in this plan of yours as well then? That's why he kept on checking with me about my business trip. He kept on asking me the exact times I would leave and come back. This was all planned out by all of you guys. Of course we planned this together. We're a family after all. You're the only one that I don't consider as family. We sold off the house on the day you left for your business trip. There's no place for you to go home to now. Enjoy your miserable life on the streets. Thanks for letting me know at least. I'm sure I'll be so much happier without you guys anyway. Yeah, we feel the same way too. Never show your face in front of us ever again. That's it. Goodbye. The next day. Would you please answer the phone? It's an emergency. I need to talk to you right now. Please just pick up. What do you want from me? I thought that you never wanted to see my face ever again. Some problems came up. There are some things that I really need to talk to you about. Would you please just pick up the phone? Unfortunately, I still don't want to see or talk to you at all. I'm not going to pick up the phone. What's the matter anyway? What's the emergency? If you need to tell me something, you can tell me here. I am not going to talk to you on the phone. I'm crying so much right now. What are you talking about? Apparently, the sale of the house didn't go through. We've already bought the new house that we're moving into. Without the money from the sale of the old house, we can't pay for the new one. What the hell are we meant to do? Why should I know? None of this is my responsibility. You guys did this to me behind my back. Figure it out yourselves. I wonder why there was a problem with the sale of the house. I tried asking him, but he wouldn't tell me the details. That house is my property. It's under my name, so I stopped the sale. Wait, what did you just say? I knew that you guys needed the money from the sale of the house to move. I contacted the real estate agent yesterday and got the sale canceled. I'm so glad that I noticed before the sale went through. Although the sale never would have worked in the first place. The house is in my name, so you would have needed my permission and signature for the sale to go through. Did you really think that something like this would really work? Is your entire family full of idiots? I don't understand what's going on. How could the house be in your name? That's just not possible. Isn't that house in Daniel's name? It's his house, right? No, it's not. I was the one that purchased that house. No way! You've got to be lying. I always thought that place was his. He was the one that bought the house. Did you seriously think that? There's no way that he could afford to buy a house. You know how little he earns, right? He'd be lucky to rent out an old apartment room with his salary. Wait, what are you talking about now? Is his salary really that low? Yeah, I thought you would have known that. I'm the one that's paying off the loans for the house. There's just no way you guys could sell off the house. I had a couple of missed calls from unknown numbers. I guess that it was the real estate agency calling me to check what was going on. I really didn't expect you guys to do something this stupid though. Anyway, it was a good opportunity for me to find out how crazy you guys are. Would you please hold on a minute? I'm having trouble trying to process what you just told me. What part of it are you struggling to process? I thought that I explained everything to you very clearly. You're telling me that the house that we were all living in is actually your property. Are you really the one that's paying off the loans? I still can't believe any of this. Well, you're going to have to believe it because it's the reality. How are we meant to pay for our new place then? Are you seriously asking me that? 
We were planning to pay for our new house with the money from the sale of that house. We already paid the down payments and we have no savings left at all. What the hell are we supposed to do? I have no idea why you're asking me this. What do you expect me to do? Please figure out a way to solve this. This is all your fault. You need to help us out. How is any of this my fault? You guys decided to do this without me knowing. You and the rest of your family need to figure out what to do. You told me that I'm not part of your family, right? I have no intention of helping you guys out at all. You're his wife, though. You need to do something to help him out. Why do I need to do anything? Also, I'm not his wife anymore. What did you just say? My ex-husband was a piece of trash, so I got a divorce. Have you not heard from him at all? What are you talking about? Are you talking about my son? Yeah, who else would I be talking about? We discussed this a couple of days ago and decided. I had no idea he planned to try to sell my house, though. He didn't mention that when we had our conversation. Are you telling me that we're complete strangers to each other now? Yeah, pretty much. Have you finally realized that you guys are the ones that might become homeless? Are you seriously going to do this to us? I had no idea things would end up like this. Are you going to abandon us completely? Yeah, I don't see why I should help. You were telling me to enjoy my life on the streets. I don't feel like helping people that would say that to me. I'm sure you guys did this to kick me out of the house, but I guess it's kind of backfired. Now look who's going to be without a place to live. Don't worry, we're going to be completely fine. He still has a job, so we won't have any financial problems. I guess we're just going to have to find a different place to live. Although I have no idea what I'm going to do about the money for a new place. That's a problem that you guys are going to have to figure out yourselves. I have nothing to do with you guys anymore. It was actually the perfect timing for us to get a divorce, actually. I was kind of looking for a reason to kick you guys out of the house. I can't believe this. How dare you talk to me like that? Are you seriously not going to help us out? Of course I'm not going to help. We're strangers to each other. Did your husband know about any of this? I didn't think that he was the kind of person that would agree to something like this. He didn't know any of the details. How am I meant to tell him that we have no place to live now? What are you going to do about this? You've messed up my plans completely. Stop blaming me for any of this, you old hag. How about you take responsibility for what you've done? This was the plan that you had to solve the problems between us, right? We don't have to argue every day now that we're not going to be living together. This is perfect for both of us. Yeah, I still don't want to live with you at all. Still. This isn't how I planned things to be. I have no idea what I'm going to do from now on. Who cares about tomorrow? I'm happy that we don't have to live together anymore. Problem solved, right? Please don't ever contact me again. I've got to get going now. Goodbye, you old hag. I hope you and your family enjoy your lives on the street. After that, Lona opted to confront Daniel to verify the truth of Katie's claims. Ultimately, he confessed that it was indeed Katie who financed the house, and it was registered under her name. Lona's husband remained completely oblivious to these events and became enraged upon discovering the truth of the situation. Their entire household is engulfed in a massive dispute at the moment, and there is a possibility that they will have to separate permanently. She attempted to covertly re-enter Katie's residence without consent but was apprehended by law enforcement and issued a restraining order. They are presently without a place of residence and are currently experiencing homelessness. Katie ultimately sold the expansive family residence and acquired a solitary high-rise condominium for her own occupancy. Her life appears to have undergone a remarkable improvement following the dissolution of her marriage. Hi Rose, I just rang the doorbell, but nobody answered. Are you home? 
Oh, hi Amanda. I'm so sorry, I'm actually in a meeting right now and had my headphones on. I didn't hear the doorbell. What brings you here? Well, Mark invited me to come and stay with you all for a while. He thought it would be a nice surprise. Didn't he tell you that? Oh, wow. That's unexpected. I didn't know he had planned for you to visit. I'm sorry for not being available at the door. I had no idea. No need to apologize, dear. I understand. It was supposed to be a surprise, after all. Is this a bad time for me to be here? It's a bit unexpected, but don't worry, Amanda. I'm glad to see you. I just need some time to wrap up the meeting. I had no clue Mark had invited you. How did this all come about? Mark wanted us to spend some quality time together as a family, so he invited me over. I hope it's not causing too much inconvenience. I appreciate the sentiment, Amanda. It's just that I'm in the middle of a crucial meeting. I'll try to finish up as soon as possible. Can you wait for a little while? No problem, Rose. I'll be here whenever you're ready. Take your time and we'll make the most of it. I just got a message from my mom. She said she went to our place, but no one was there. Rose, why didn't you open the door to let mom come in? She had to wait outside. Mark, I'm really sorry. I was in the middle of a meeting and had my headphones on. I didn't hear the doorbell. I didn't mean to make her wait outside. It's frustrating, Rose. You're always home, and it's your responsibility as a wife to take care of these things. You should have been available to let her in. Mark, I told you before not to talk to me like that. I was at home working. It's unfair to expect me to be available 24-7 just because I work from home. I have my own responsibilities and commitments, just like you do. I can't drop everything at a moment's notice. But taking care of our family and the house is your role as a wife, Rose. You should prioritize that above everything else. Being a wife doesn't mean I have to sacrifice my career or personal obligations. We're partners, Mark. We should share the responsibilities and support each other. It's not solely my responsibility to handle everything at home. I just thought you would prioritize our family over work, Rose. It feels like you're always absorbed in your own things. Mark, I have to express my frustration and discomfort about Mom's unexpected visit. It's not fair that you didn't let me know in advance. I feel uncomfortable with this situation. Oh, that was the reason why you didn't open the door and let my mom wait outside? I can't believe you're making such a big deal out of this, Rose. I wanted mom to stay with us for a long term. I thought you would appreciate having her around more often. You can't just make decisions like this without considering my feelings or discussing it with me first. It, it's not the kind of thing that you can just decide by yourself. We're a married couple we should be making decisions like this. It's disrespectful and unfair. You're overreacting, Rose. I thought you would be happy to have more family time. There's no need for me to discuss this with you at all. My mom is going to be moving in with us regardless of your opinion. Of course you need to check with me first. Your mom moving in with us is going to be a huge change for all of us. I really don't like it when you make important decisions like this without me. Could you please just tell me everything that's happening? Have you really thought this decision through at all? Of course, I thought about it. I really need you to be quiet and start coming downstairs right now to open the door and help her with the belongings. She is waiting outside. You're my wife, you should be helping me out with these kinds of things. Don't you forget that I'm in a meeting right now? I am the one who needs you to be quiet. I also told you that I was going home to my parents' house today. I will help you out when I finish this meeting. But then, I will go to my parents' house for a few days. You better come down right this moment. 
I never heard about you going to visit your parents. Stop making up lies like that. I definitely told you about this. I can't even be bothered to argue with you anymore. How many times do you plan on repeating this I'm starting to get tired of you? You don't need to entertain my mom with a banquet or anything just be polite and say hi. My mother just wants to get closer to you. I said I can't do that I have a tight schedule and tons of work to deal with. I may be at home but it doesn't mean I have a very flexible timetable. I think you're exaggerating way too much. How hard can it be? Just give them some coffee and snacks, have a little chit-chat, and let them go well. You're my wife, you need to listen to all orders. I'm really getting tired of this, I don't think I deserve this treatment. You are a difficult person to have a conversation with. That's it! I've had enough of talking to you. Do whatever you want. I'm so mad if you stay at your parents' house until you're ready to apologize to me. Why should I apologize to you? I didn't do anything wrong at all. You should be the one apologizing to me. Actually, I don't even want to see your face for a while. You can come back once you're ready to admit that. Hello, Mark. Is Rose not going to be coming home tonight? I'm really sorry, Mom. I forgot to tell you about it. Rose isn't going to be coming home today. She decided to go to her parents' house for a few days. I see that's a little unfortunate. Did she not like me coming to stay with you all? Mom, we actually got into an argument earlier. She's a terrible person to have as a wife. I really don't know what to do about her. Oh, I see. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. I just wanted to spend some time with you all. What were you guys even arguing about? You didn't tell her that I was going to be moving in, right? She was in a meeting, and I didn't inform her about your visit beforehand. She felt uncomfortable and surprised. I know, Mom, but sometimes Rose can be a bit sensitive about unexpected things. She values communication and planning. Wait. Why do you know what we were arguing about? I'm guessing she decided to go to her parents' house because she didn't want me moving in. I know that you guys haven't been getting along that well recently. It's essential to understand and respect her feelings, Mark. I know you didn't intend for this to happen, but it's crucial to communicate openly with your wife. Actually, I didn't do anything wrong. She always gets angry and just storms off like that. So that means that Rose never agreed with you about me moving in then? Well, kind of. It's okay, Mark. We all make mistakes. But what's important now is to talk to Rose and apologize for not considering her feelings. This is a pretty big decision for all of us involved. I only agreed to move in for three days just to see how things would be like. Why are we in a situation like this? I know, Mom, but sometimes Rose can be a bit sensitive about unexpected things. She values communication and planning. I'm really sorry, Mom. I didn't think it would end up like this either. I still think that you need to listen to my side of the story. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to be taking Fies in this. Show her that you understand and want to be more supportive. I think it's impossible for me to solve this by myself. I want you to talk to her instead of me. I'm also very close to my limits with her. I'm really mad at her as well she doesn't even do most of the housework. I end up having to do most of the housework by myself. I'm always very tired from work but I still have to do the housework when I get back. I'll help you with these household cords. But, is that really true the hell seems to be very clean and organized? What do you mean by that, Mom? Well, you never did any of the housework before you moved out of my house. Your place always seems to be very clean every time I visit. I had assumed that Rose was doing the housework. There's no way you could clean the house so thoroughly. Well, you are wrong about that. The house is clean thanks to me. 
I struggle to do the housework at the beginning, but I'm a quick cleaner. My wife is home working, but she always makes excuses that she is busy. She left everything to me. The house is organized and cleaned because of me. It has nothing to do with Rose at all. I'm still not sure if I really believe that. One of the reasons I decided to move in for a few days was to monitor the two of you. You need to go and make things right with her and ask her to come home. Okay, fine. I'll try to do that then. Are you coming home soon? Do you need a dinner today? Yes, Mom. I'm on my way. Can't wait to eat the food that you make. I'll start to prepare some dinner then. I'll ask Rose for her permission to use the kitchen. Why would you do that? There is no need to get permission from her for something like that. You can just use the kitchen how you like. Most people aren't going to like having their kitchen used without permission. I don't want to be rude to Rose at all. Okay, fine. There's no need for you to be so angry about it. I'm sure she won't mind you using the kitchen at all. Hi Rose, I hope you're doing well. I wanted to ask for your permission to use the kitchen when you're not home. I don't want to intrude or cause any inconvenience. Hi, Amanda, thanks for checking in. Of course, you're welcome to use the kitchen anytime. It's not a problem at all. Feel free to make yourself at home. I made a note of how to use a stove and where I organized kitchen stuff. Just in case you need instruction. Thank you, dear. I just want to make sure I'm respectful of your space. Now, I also wanted to talk about the argument you had with Mark. I hope you don't mind sharing your side with me. It's okay, Amanda. I appreciate your concern. Please understand that the argument is not about your visit. The argument was about feeling overwhelmed with everything. I have a full-time job at home, and when I finish, I'm still expected to handle all the household chores and take care of our son. It's becoming exhausting. I can understand how that would be overwhelming, Rose. It's essential for both partners to share responsibilities. Have you talked to Mark about this and how it's affecting you? I've tried talking to him, but he always seems to have other priorities. He comes home late from work and expects me to take care of everything. It's getting harder for me to manage everything alone. It's crucial for Mark to understand how you're feeling and support you. A partnership means working together to find a balance that works for both of you. Maybe you can have a calm and honest conversation with him about this when you're both ready. You're right, Amanda. I need to communicate my feelings more effectively. I just want him to understand and help me out more at home. It's completely valid to want that support, Rose. Partners should lean on each other during challenging times. Let him know how much it would mean to you. If he could be more involved in household chores and taking care of your son. I will, Amanda. Thank you for listening and understanding. It's good to have you to talk to about this. You're welcome, dear. I'm here to support you. Remember, communication is key to a strong relationship. Take care of yourself, and I hope you and Mark can work through this together. Thank you, Amanda. I'll talk to him when the time is right. Take care too, and enjoy your time at our place. Mark, I think I'm going to head back home soon. I'm worried about your dad as well, I don't want to leave him alone for too much longer. I've spent enough time with you for now. Wait, Mom! You can't go back yet! Rose is still angry with me, she won't even reply to my text messages. Could you help me out? Do I really have to help you with this? You're not a child anymore. I really hope that you could solve this by yourself. Do you want me to talk to Rose? Then I guess I can warn her about her bad attitude and lifestyle as well? Her bad attitude? What do you mean by that, Mom? 
You are the one that always tells me about how badly you get treated by her. You say that she doesn't do any of the housework and forces you to do it all. Didn't you also say that she gets really angry even at the smallest of things? I think I should warn her about all this you feel uncomfortable when she does these things to you, right? Hold on a minute. Are you planning to talk to her about this directly? You asked me for help. I'm just going to have a discussion with her so that she understands how you feel about all this. She might try to change her attitude. You said that she won't even reply to your text messages right now. I think I'm just going to have to tell her your feelings and opinions about her. Then you guys can take some time to think about each other. I think I can figure out how to fix this myself. Why are you saying that all of a sudden? You were begging me for help until a few minutes ago. I thought that you needed me to fix the situation. Actually, I thought about it again. There's no need for you to do that right now. Honestly, I think it would be best if you could just stay for a long time. That would make me feel at ease. There's no way I would want to do that. I already have my own house to live in, I also can't leave your dad all by himself. Me and your dad already told you that you needed to become more independent. You can't keep on relying on us forever. Why do you have to say it like that? I was only making a suggestion. Why do you even want to live with us again so badly? You have a wife in your own place to live. I thought that you had managed to become independent. Hold on a second. Is there any chance that everything you've been telling me has been a lie? Of course not. I would never lie to you. I'm your son after all I really don't want you to go home yet. At least, could you please stay here for one more night? Okay fine, I guess I can stay here for one more night. I am definitely going to go home tomorrow. Thanks, Mom. I'm really grateful that you can stay here for one more day. It's really helpful when you can do all the housework. Rose, when in the world are you planning to come back home? I think it's been long enough now. You've had plenty of time to think about how wrong you were. Would you please just come back and apologize to me? I'm ready to forgive you. My mom is getting worried about you. She won't stop asking me about you. Just hurry up and come back home. I am not going to wait around much longer. You're meant to be my housewife. I'm not planning to come home to you piece of trash. Wait! What did you just say? Did you seriously just call me that? You do not have the right to ignore me like this. I'm going to force you to do all the housework as soon as you get back home. You better come home soon. Did you just ask who I think I am? I'm your precious wife, you need to respect me more. Stop messing around and start listening to me. I'm not messing around at all, I am completely serious about everything that I said. I'm not really in the mood to go back and live with you at all. It was ridiculous that you asked me to come home because you need me to do housework. You leave everything to me. I'm working a full-time job at home doesn't mean that I have time to handle every housework. I can't remember the last time you offered to help with anything from preparing to cleaning up after. Oh, come on! I think I deserve a good rest on the weekend since I go out and make money for us. What about me? You think I don't make money? Don't you think I deserve some rest on the weekends, too? Well, yeah. But you're the wife, it's part of the job. A wife needs to meet the requirements of her husband's family, right? It's kind of sad, but you're basically like a servant to our family. That's the whole deal of marriage, right? I can't believe you just said that. I'm tired of living with a pathetic guy like you. Well, think about it. Basically, what a woman marries into a man's household. They have to take care of the family, right? Wow, I never knew your head was stuck a century back. Now everything makes sense. 
You invited your mom to come to our family just because you want her to do the housework as well. Now you're looking down on me. What is wrong with you? You know what? Your mom knew everything. She talked to me, tried to convince me to have a conversation with you, and hope we can understand each other. Wait! You talked to my mom? She read all messages between us. She is really upset now. She would not live together with you or any of her other children. She still cares about her children and children-in-law. It's just that she wants to give them awesome freedom so that they can be independent. She was really worried about me and took care of me. Even though we only meet every so often. Of course she's going to take care of you. She's the nicest mom in the world. But it's gone too far. How could you show these messages to her? Your mom is saying that the way you've been treating me is the same way your grandmother treated her. I really don't think I did anything wrong. I did what I had to do as a husband. Then you must have a terrible understanding of what it takes to be a good husband. I deserve better than you. I want to divorce. You cannot just leave me like that. I'm no longer going to be your wife. I've already made this decision and it's final I'm going to send you the divorce papers.